you know, I really wasn't originally gonna make a post because this this article was like almost a week old. But I'm like, you know what? I feel like I should make a post for everyone else making their putting their two cents in. What does the gay black thing? I'm not gay, I'm bisexual. But what does the gay black wrestling fan think about all the comments that Lars Sullivan has made? And I'm like, you know what? It'll be interesting seeing what it, what the perspective of a, of a, of a, of a LGBT representative who also just happens to be black, commenting on the Lars Sullivan thing. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna put my two cents on it. I'm gonna look these up. I'm gonna go see what the hell this guy was talking about and put out there to the universe my thoughts on the Lars Sullivan the back, especially because he's getting called up to the main roster soon. And, well, people are questioning, well, should he be called up to the main roster? I'm like, well, we'll see about that. I really, really, really do not do videos like this talking about, you know, drama. and re I don't do this shit because I think it's just, it's someone else is going to do it. So why would I do it? Not only that, but I don't care enough to do shit like this. But, you know, this is a guy who's on the main roster. This is a guy who's about to get a big push. So it is a bit concerning if they're going to push someone who's quote unquote racist and or homophobic. Since that pertains to my demographic, I'm like, you know what? Let me go and see what this guy said. So about a week ago, Ringside News made a report that Lars Sullivan was caught using racist and homophobic jokes and or, you know, posts in a message board. And I immediately said, oh boy. Number one, how did they figure out that it was him? Mm, I don't know. And number two, this isn't a good look for the guy. So I go and I look it up. Now, mind you, I didn't just look this up. I've known this for a week, but I go look it up again today just to re reiterate, rehash what I've already seen. And I go to this article when it says, they don't even their talent through a pretty rigorous training process that involves social media at this point, but they might not have checked bodybuilding.com form about 11 years ago because it included a rather interesting username, Disenfranchised. Oh boy, 11 whole years ago. On disenfranchised profile, it says, I like this form very much, but his cat status currently shows that he is banned. If you look into his profile a little deeper, you realize that it is none other than Lars Sullivan. Oh, the few posts have extremely racist connotations to them. Extremely racist. Listen, if you say extremely racist, I'm going to assume that he dropped all types of N words and and junk bu jungle bunnies and monkeys and kkk i'm expecting all that shit if you want to say extremely racist so let's see what was so racist about it folks now this argument was from july 2007 july 2007 so let's uh read into this post. So uh, someone wrote what is with vince hiring all these ex-criminals mvp and ron killings etc Sweet Chin wrote, mind you, Lars Sullivan didn't write that post. That was the other guy. Wow, now you're getting racist. Just wow. That's what Lars Sullivan said. He called him out on being racist. Sweet Chin then replied that he wasn't making a comment on race. It was about them being ex-convicts and they just popped into his head, which that's what I thought initially too. Lars Sullivan then replied, oh, you're black? No wonder all you can do is copy and paste with a grinning emoji. From 2000, he said from 2007 twice, guys. He wants to really put it to your mind that this post was from 11 years ago. Why? But let's look at that post again. Oh, you're black. No wonder all you can do is copy and paste. Um, you know, what? what's so racist about that exactly? You know, I can see how this can be perceived as, oh, you're black? No wonder all you can do is copy and paste. He said extremely, ra that's not extremely racist. I don't even qualify that as racist. Do you know how many times I've heard people say, oh, that's a black thing. Oh, that's a white thing. Oh, white people be like, black people be like, black people do this, white people do this, Asian people do this, Mexican people do. Do you know how many times I hear that on like a daily basis? Do you know how often those people are considered racist? Not at all. Not at all. Yes, I know. He said black people copy and paste. But to what degree is that considered a racist? Oh, you're black? No wonder all you can do is copy and paste. If he did not put the word you're black in there, 
would this really have meant anything? If he had took out the fact, no wonder all you could do is copy and paste, and he just said, oh, you're black? Would that be racist? Let's continue on. <clears throat> so he says some other, some other things about that that weren't even racist. A lot of people ganged up on him. He got banned from the post shortly after that. Wow, people were that really were really made of sticks and stones back in 2007 too. I thought people were uh, a little bit more built to last with those kind of things, but I guess not. There's another post that he made a message board where he called uh, NFL quarterback Philip Rivers. He called him a crybaby bitch and said that he's extre that that he's extremely gay and that most of California, especially Southern California, is gay. You know, back then I used to hear people say all the time, "That's gay." And they refer to gay as a connotation for stupid. Today, I saw people say, oh, that's gay as a connotation for the word stupid. He also made some other posts regarding like how he slept around Rousey and how he thinks Stephanie Man is hot and you know, how Jeff Hardy is a spot monkey or a druggie. I don't know. I don't know. But he made some other posts All on top of these posts and the posts he made. I go back to this one thing. That post was made in 2007, 11 years ago. And to this I say, to the person who took time out of their day to dig up the dirt of 11 years on Lars Sullivan, is there nothing better you had to do with your day? Did you really think that this was new you're a news reporter and this is news to you digging up dirt from people from a 10 a whole decade ago i can't believe people nowadays they really think that digging up dirt from 10 years ago is gonna validate the fact that this guy i'm sure this guy went into this with probably ill intentions to ruin laura sullivan's career i'm sure because he ain't do this with the fact to bring him limelight or something positive. If you're digging up dirt on somebody, you're going in there with ill intentions. That's how I see it. You ain't just stumble upon this shit. What was he doing in a forum from 10 years ago? No, this motherfucker went in and he looked this shit up. He had to have spent a lot of time finding this shit. You don't just stumble upon this shit from 10 years ago. So to that guy, you're fucking lazy and you should find something better to do with your life. And to the people who are offended by this, what are you so offended for? What is there to be offended about? He didn't say anything that was even remotely racist, in my opinion. I'm black and I'm not offended by a single thing that he said. I saw a post that said, oh, he thinks KFT is for lower class people. He didn't say lower class black people. He didn't say KFC is for black people. He didn't say KFC only niggers shop at KFC. He said it's for lower class people. Oh. Oh, oh, send, send the mob. This guy must be all types of racist and everything. Really? Wh why? What, what, what is, what, what is so bad with what he said? This is from 10 to 11 years ago. Lars Sullivan is 30 years old. He made this post when he was 19. I was 11 years old 10 years ago. I was 10 years old 11 years ago. I probably said some shit back then that I wouldn't be proud of either. Lars Sullivan, at 19, 20 years old, isn't fully mature. I have friends who are 20, 21 years old who say shit like this to troll people. He might, you know what he was probably do? He probably was trolling. He was on a message board, for Christ's sake. He didn't make some post on Facebook. He didn't make some post on Twitter. He was on a fucking message board. Oh, oh, Philip Rivers is extremely gay. He didn't call him a faggot. Most of Southern California is gay. So the fuck what? That's his opinion. If Laura Sullivan said this in 2018, then we may have something to go off of. Because nowadays, people get offended by fucking anything. But he made this post 10 years ago. So why does it matter? You have no proof to surround that he still firmly believes anything that he said in the past. He might have even forgot that he said any of that shit. I see people on YouTube and on Facebook and Twitter saying they're calling for this guy's head. They're like, he shouldn't get called up. He should be fired. For what? For fucking what? James Ellsworth is out here trying to bait little girls into sending him nudes. There's motherfuckers throwing center blocks at other people in wrestling companies. But this, this is your attention? This is where your attention is gravitated towards? Nia Jax is out here knocking bitches out and concussing them. But this is grab, this is kept, this is worthy of him getting suspended. Go, go 
go ahead somewhere. Go do something with your life. I'm so done with this post. I'm done with the internet for today. You guys, I don't understand you guys. So comment down below. What do you guys think about this situation? Huh? What are your opinions on this? Y'all know mine. I want to hear yours. If you disagree with me, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I don't really care. But I had to make a post because I thought this, I thought this is just so funny. The internet is just so funny nowadays.